really hard for that endorsement. And there are some people here, some organizations here that really fought really hard to make sure I got that endorsement. So from Local 133, we have Mark Burns. Jim Bradley and uh, John Clancy from the Carmen's Union. Pat Mel Curran from the Plumbers was here earlier. I think that he left with his kids. We have represented us since 1616, the Weymouth Fire Department, who are here. And we have Dennis Lassage from the Carpenters Union, who are here. Yeah, no, Local 17 is here represented as well. Um, just all of, all of these individuals. Yeah, you're 17. Right? All of these individuals have gone to bat for us, and these are literally the hands that are building the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, and they deserve a lot of credit for the work that they do day in and day out for our state. And we have some candidates. We have Francis Crimmins, who's running for governor's counselor. We have Tony O'Brien, who's running for Plymouth County Commissioner. Um, and we have also some uh, representatives from the party. Uh, we have Janet Torby. Uh, who is the National Committee person for the RNC. And we have Amy, Amy Carnavali, the chair of the GOP. Now, I'm not going to take up a lot of time and speak. Um, I just wanted to really say thank you for, from the bottom of my heart for everything you've done. Uh, this year has been a tremendous year up in the, the State Senate. We've been able to help a lot of people, thousands of people, in the two-year period of time that we've been up there just this past session have reached out to our office and some of it's as easy as trying to fix a, a pothole and some of it's as tough as as trying to find um, somebody a place to sleep that night but day in and day out we try our best to make sure that we represent this district and when we go up to Beacon Hill we take all these conversations that we have just like the ones we've had today I think I made it halfway across the room I think I left out of the Cedar Homes uh, right there <laughs> Uh, before, I'll, I'll do the other half of the room after. But we bring all these conversations and we try to take a pragmatic approach to how government works. Uh, when you look at what's happening up at the, down in the D.C. at the national level and in state capitals and in city halls across this country, all you see is division and arguments and people fighting and nothing getting done. And that's not what happens on Beacon Hill. We work together as Republicans and Democrats, we identify problems, and we try our best to work as hard as we can Sure, there'll be disagreements and there'll be differences of opinions, but at the end of the day, we walk away with it with a respect towards each other, that that person just has a different point of view. And I feel like that needs to be more amplified in our conversations that we have generally, but more especially the conversations that are happening at the highest level of government. There needs to be an understanding that people have difference of opinions and that sometimes you're not always right. And I think that that's missing. So what I try and do every single day for the past eight and a half years is go to Boston, go across the district, meet amazing people who are doing amazing things, who are going above and beyond creating organizations and raising money to literally change something for the better. And I think that government should look to the people and look to these people who are in the South Shore. And the South Shore, I think, we're not unique with this, but we're extremely blessed with people who are trying to make their community better. And I always get told about going to one party or, or another party as far as you know, different events. And it's always, you know, you have, you have like-minded people that are there. And that's, that's a lot of instances mean there's a lot of people who believe that one person should be president or another person should be president. The thing that I love about the gatherings that we have is that it's the like-mindedness is about how can we make our town better? How can we make our little region better? How can we make the state better? It's not about one party versus another, it's about all of us. And at the end of the day, that's what this is about. So before I end, thank you. Before I end, I wanted to thank my family who's always been by my side, who continues to be there all the time. And I wanted to uh, thank my staff too. We have my chief of staff, Greg Denton, who's here. We have my legislative director, Tom Scahill, who's here. 
My communications director, Megan Sheeran, who's here. My legislative aide, Elizabeth Bader, uh, who's here. My constituent services director, Mike Murphy. Sure he really loved it. It. He, loved, he loved it. He got the biggest applause. <laughs> and uh, earlier this year, uh, Lou Rizzo, who we had on our staff for six years, uh, right after he retired from being a UPS driver for over 40 years, uh, we had him as our uh, district coordinator. He'd go to all the events. He became so ingrained in the community from going to the senior centers at least once a month to going to all the different veterans' breakfasts. All the different community events that I talked about, how the South Shore is special because we do so much. All of those things Lou was at when we were up on Beacon Hill or at different events, and he was representing our office. And the compliments that we received and the accolades that he uh, was able to, uh, to do during that period of time was incredible. He's officially retired from retiring, uh, from being retired. Um, but Lou, I just wanted to say from the bottom of my heart, I love you. Um, I think you're an amazing human being. You've done so much for the South Shore, you've done so much uh, for myself personally, for the office, and um, you know, I wouldn't be the person I am without you, uh, so I just want to say thank you for that perspective that you brought to our office, and you're the man. Thank you. I'm going to wrap it up there. We also have former state representative Joe Driscoll, who works at South Shore Hospital, who's here. I want to be so happy Greg Shanahan from the Weymouth Town Council, who, uh, who's popped in too. I want to thank 151 for putting this on. If you guys, if this is your first time here, please come back. This place is awesome. Everybody, enjoy the night. Uh, thank you so much for all your support. I promise to continue to provide you representation that you deserve. That you can. Uh, have an honest conversation about even a disagreement or in agreement, and that um, and that we'll continue to make the so sure and the state a better place. Because with all of you uh, having my back, I know that I know that we can accomplish some amazing things. So thanks, everybody.